Question number 4. Based on diagram 5, derive S equals to R theta. So they want us to derive this, okay? And what else they told us? Diagram 5 shows a circle with center O and arc AB which substance which subtends an angle. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. So it's not they just want us to derive like, basically. So derivation, okay. So when you want to derive this, you have to start with the ratio. Ratio. What is the ratio? The ratio is <coughs> we are comparing let's say arc length arc or you can say minor arc minor arc ab okay this this length here to the ratio of this which is the uh, angle aob okay this ratio uh, that means this length to this angle should be the same as the circumference circumference to the full angle full angle is 360 okay we form this ratio first so the ratio between the arc length here and the angle should be equal to the circumference and the full angle 360 okay once we have this ratio then we can then it becomes very easy we can simplify we can derive lah. Okay, so in this case, let us do together. So minor arc AB, which we will represent as S. Lah. So S over AOB is theta equals to the circumference is 2 pi R and 360 in radian form will be 2 pi. So the 2 you can cancel, pi you can cancel. So S equals to, you bring this up there, becomes R theta. Okay, proven.